Hello YouTube and internet people, I'm Tinran432 and welcome back to Mega Man 03, my favorite Mega Man 0 game. So uh, I think in the last part we took out the first two um, Mavericks on the list. Actually I don't know if they're Mavericks in the Mega Man 0 series. Okay well we took out the ter first two uh, bosses or stages or whatever you want to call them. And we got these cool new uh, forms here with the cool colors and everything. But today, we're just gonna be, um, well, for the first part of this video, we're just gonna be walking around, uh, Resistance Base. So you might wonder, um, what is in Seal's room if Seal's out in the front? I mean, we've already seen some review, but let's check out this room. And there's this girl in there. I forgot her name. Is it Alouette or something? I don't know. Oh, hey, Zero. I've been waiting here the whole time for Seal. She came in and left again right away. This little guy is a bit worn out, so I'd like it fixed. I guess Seal must be busy. Well, yeah. I guess she's kind of trying to stop a, uh... Um, a war. Or whatever. Anyway, um, so this thing. It's on the Game Boy Advance versions of Mega Man Zero 3. I guess you can... Um... Do something if with your... Connecting cable to your Game Boy Advance or whatever with your Mega Man Battle Network 4, and you can connect it to this game, and I guess you get different enemies in cyberspace, but I've never done that before. So let's look at the things we can look up here. Or, um, maybe we already did that, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm hopping around. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Let's check out Omega. So Omega's the giant reploid with the same energy as the Dark Elf. Some say that Omega was involved in the Elf Wars, the records state that a century ago, Omega was ejected into space, and there's no other info available. Alright, let's look up Dr. Wilde. Okay, so Dr. Wilde used the Dark Elf during the Elf Wars, and he was banished from near Arcadia. And he excels at bringing dead Reploids back to life. You might rem remember that part. Let's talk to this guy. Loves talking about his recoil rod that he made with Sir Review. I guess. Let's keep going to the rest of the resistance base. Check it out. I think this room had the nurse lady. Yeah. The Lolan attacks from Neo Arcadia had me optimistic, but now it seems they're on the move. I just hope they don't come here. For my job, the quieter things are, the better. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I've never been a doctor before, but you know. So let's continue on, on uh, four, floor, floor 4, and talk to this guy. He has some good information, usually. And the appearance of Omega, who has the same signature as the Dark Elf, has caused a rift in our world. The rift is called Cyberspace. A mysterious doorway connects it to the real world. Inside Cyberspace, Cyber Elf act abilities auto-activates. Alright, um, I think I covered that all in the last part. But, um... Okay, so not all elves activate, only the ones with an A mark. Okay, that's what I forgot. Um, they need to have an A mark in the Cyber Elf menu. I think you can also upgrade your Cyber Elves whenever you want. I don't think you have to be with Seal. But, um, yeah, you lose five mission points for entering cyberspace. Um, you don't get secret discs from enemies. And you can't fight bosses, obviously, because you'd be way too overpowered. So what's in this room? Okay, so it's this guy who was talking about uh, how we're the new guy and everything. But um, we're not. We're kind of a legendary hero. But anyway, um, he says his job is boring. And, okay. He doesn't have any stories to tell. There's just no excitement anymore. Well, we'll see about that through the rest of the game. Well, let's uh, keep going. Um, let's go up the, to the top floor and climb over the towers and freak out the guards by jumping in front of the cannons. I don't think we can do that. Okay, well we found a secret disc, so that's cool. I don't think there's anything on the other side, but uh, let's check anyway. I don't remember that well. Um, even though Mega Man Zero 03 is my favorite in the series. Zero series. But uh, let's go down and talk to these guards in the watchtowers. See what they have to say. Mr. Zero, before I worked here, I was a security guard in the desert. Of course, that was over a year ago. I might 
remember you. Okay, let's keep going down. Uh, see what the other guy has to say. Ah, oh, Mr. Zero. Lately I've been so bored. My trigger finger is itching. But I suppose that's something to complain about, right? Oh, yes. I, I can't make out what's on this disc. You can have it. Um, okay. Thanks, dude. So now we have number 58 secret disc. Not sure what's in there. Maybe it's a cyber elf. I don't know. I have not checked any of them. Let's go down to the third floor. See who's there. I think there's this old guy. What's this? You must be the new whippersnapper. Ha, huh, I am kidding. Even my memory isn't quite that bad. Okay, that's, that's cool. I mean, you are an android, technically, so you shouldn't ever have uh, memory problems. Actually, never mind. You probably will. Old computers develop some sp problems over time. I should know. But yeah, uh, if we keep going, I'm pretty sure most of these rooms are empty, except maybe the last one. Yeah, of course there he is. Ah, uh, Mr. Zero. I was just cleaning this room, and I uh, came across a secret disc. It must be around here somewhere. If you can find it, it's yours. Oh, I have no idea where it is. Can, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Oh, you just walked in front of it. You're, you're getting colder. You're almost there. Oh, there, there it is. Stole it. Ha ha ha. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know. That wasn't very well hidden. Anyway, let's go to the second floor. And there's a hallway here with the secret disc in it. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Then we can talk to this guy. Hi, Zero. It's been two months since Mr. El Paizo left here. I wonder when I'll be promoted to commander. I don't think there's a more qualified successor. If that weren't possible, I might be an operator instead. Well, keep working, dude. Keep working. I meant to say trying, but, but never mind. Okay, um, I think most of these are empty too, except for the last one, of course. And they all say, ah, oh, Mr. Zero. It's kind of strange. Oh, this guy's not slacking off. He's taking a break. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We accept breaks here at Resistance Base. Uh, go down to the first floor. Um, see what's down there. I think there's three people. There's this kid. Nice to meet you. My name is Paraquiet. Oh, it's Mr. Zero. Sorry about that. I have poor vision. But that aside, Miss Seal's research is just incredible. Incomplete as it is, I think that the miracle of undying cyber elves showed the fruit of her labor. Okay, that's cool. I think there's his secret disc in this room here. Um, uh, sorry about that sound. Just a little bit of, uh, home cooking. Okay, let's go to this kid. Oh, it's you, Zero. I just can't stand work. My job? My job is to watch the harbor all day. All day. Every day. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. If that have you heard me, he'd say he was mad. This voice is not correct for this kid as well. At all. Okay, let me redo that. Sorry. Um, here we go. Oh, it's you, Zero. I just can't stand work. My job? My job is to watch the harbor. All day. All day, every day. <laughs> just kidding. If that Hebrew heard me say that, he'd be sure be mad. Oh hey, I just found this disc underneath the uh, something. Do you want it? Um, okay. You're not expecting to get it for free. Um, all right. You have to answer. You have to get it if you answer my question. Do you know that small reploid down the hall, the one that carries the book with him wherever he goes? What's his name? Well, I mean, your name's Mernart. And he just told me his name. It's Paraquiet. Or Paraquiet. I don't know. Well, he just gave us his own secret disc. That's, um, not proper internet safety. Don't, don't give anybody your secret information. Okay, let's go to this guy. This bored guy. Didn't want to work here anymore. Hello, Zero. I'm sure you've forgotten my name. It's a truche. I've been carrying loads around here for years. Sometimes I wish I could do something else, but there isn't anything that I'm good at. Sorry, I didn't mean to gripe you, Mr. Zero. Okay, well, um, that's fine. Some of us don't like uh, working at Resistance Base carrying boxes around all day either. But you're not alone. Okay, let's go back to the mission room and do, do a mission because we need some action. 
or else I'm going to not get views. But, I mean, you've already watched about nine minutes into the video. Assuming you're still here. Anyway, uh, let's pick our first, um, level. Our only level today, unfortunately. Then we're gonna do this one. We verified a reading similar to the Dark Elf in the ruins of an intercontinental oceanic highway. We have verified that Neo Arcadia is pursuing this. We believe it will take some time to get to the source of reading, but if possible, you should verify signal, and if it is indeed Dark Elf protected. Okay, I was skipping that too fast and then I couldn't read. Okay, here we go. Our mission to fight whatever Maverick's name is. Here we go. Transfer. Zero. Be careful. Okay, we will do. Wait, I saw that? That was Dark Elf. It was Dark Elf for sure. Zero, we've just got a reading. Dark Elf detected. Beginning pursuit. Alright, let's go. We have zero lives. And we're playing a zero. Isn't that convenient? And we're level B. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, hey, it's the boss. Let's, let's fight him right now and end the level. Please, please. Who the heck are you? <laughs> you must be after that Dark Elf, too. Am I right? You'll have to get past me first. Wahaha. <laughs> That's no fair, you have a submarine. Zero. There's a switch ahead that uh, lowers the ocean level and stuff, so it goes slower because it's not in the water. Okay, well, um, I'm bad at this part and I'm probably gonna die, so yeah. Okay, actually, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to die to get all of my lives back. Because that is logic and stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Continue, and I'll skip you ahead to the point of the level where I was. Okay, actually, I didn't get that far, so let's just go. Right now. Here we go. Skip, skip, skip. And hopefully we're off to a better start this time. Yeah, much better. Okay, here we go. Jump over that. Grab secret disc. I mean, you're, what you're supposed to do in this level, there are these buttons. I'll probably come across all of them, but I'm not going to get to it in time. Uh, basically, I think you have to jump on top of them or something and lower the lower the ocean currents or whatever, and then that will slow down the ship because um, it's a water thing. So yay! So yeah, that's basically the entire concept of this uh, level. So I'm just gonna leave it silent for the most part and let you enjoy the music. Um, I'll probably die a lot, but. Mm, you know, I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll skip ahead most of it. Um, so yeah, enjoy the music, and I'll see you back at the mini boss. Okay, never in a long, uh, never long. Never mind, this is actually taking way too long, so I decided to edit out most of it. And here we are at the mini box, like just ahead of where we died. So yeah, here we are. Zero. Hey, it's Dark Elf. That's cool. Dark Elf. Stop it. No, oh, guys, don't hurt her. She's gonna like kill you. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Um. Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Oh no, oh no, what have you done, Dark Elf? I'll have to take care of this guy first. Yeah, well, is that door unlocked? Probably not. Okay, so this is the mini boss. Um, uh, it has about three attacks, average attack level of mini bosses. And um, it's weak against fire, because it's an ice type, and it makes sense. Then it has this attack, where it is a laser all across. And then it has another attack where it shakes the entire um, ceiling and rocks fall out. And it also has another attack where it shoots ar arrows in five different directions like that. And then it also has another attack where it tries to grab you. That's a total of four. Um, so yeah, I know how to count. And I know how to die, too. Let's try it again.
Okay, there we go. It's dead now. Let's keep going. Continue with the level, which is pretty much the same as the first half of the level. But, um, yeah, continue on. Maybe we can get a few more of the lever things, whatever they are. Um, or maybe not. Maybe we can just take it slow. I don't know. I just rhymed. Um, I was about to rhyme again, but then I decided not to. Um, let's keep going. Um, I'm stuck thinking of rhymes now, even though I really don't want to rhyme all the time in a dime. Okay, well, we're almost at the end of the level, and here we are, I think. Okay, yeah, there's the boss door, and hopefully there's a boss inside, because that would be the concept of boss doors in Mega Man game. What a pain you are! I thought you'd be easier to scare off than that! No more games! I'm Childre... Inorbita! One of Wild's numbers! I'll see that smug face of yours frozen with fear! Okay. Ice puns. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, well anyway, this dude's weakness is the fire, because he's an ice type. And he likes to shoot projectiles everywhere, most of which cannot reach you if you are outside of the water. Which, even if you couldn't get the catch up to the ship, would be one of the advantages for taking out those lever things. So yeah, normal health. Not too hard. When he hops up there, just be sure to jump to the other side and maybe land a charge shot before jumping to the surface. And, um... Yeah, make sure when you're above water, most of the attacks cannot reach you. And just make sure to listen for when he's about to jump up. And then there's that attack, which always, always manages to kill me. Oh, and apparently I'm shark food now, so... Woohoo. Anyway, here we go. Um, zero lives again. Let's uh, give it one more try. Here we go. Come on. Hopefully I'll do much better this time. I don't really remember how to beat them. Most of the bosses until my second try. When it's just like, just like riding a bicycle. Or whatever you want to call it in that earthly planet of yours. Sometimes he just does this attack. Uh, this attack again. Anyway, even if you do get met, uh, even if you do get hit and you, there's nothing you can do about it, um, just try to get in a saber shot, or a saber, fully charged saber attack, because that does a lot of damage. Or any kind of charge attack. And with that, we are almost got him. We are almost got him. You're kidding me. Why is this happening to me? Well, I don't know. Oh, he's, he's exploding now. He's about to go over. There we go. 50%. Yeah, we didn't do that good. Level C, that's fine. It's probably just gonna go lower and lower. But anyway, um, that is all the time that we have for this episode of the Mega Man Zero Three game. So yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, and the Dark Elf that we saw earlier, it's gone, so yeah. <sighs> Too bad. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the episode, like I already said. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I would say like and subscribe, but that's what only people say when brainwashing things with technique. So yeah, goodbye. Peace and sheep. Subscribe.